Enzyme kinetics determine the rate of a reaction and how it changes in response to changes in experimental parameters. The most widely adopted enzyme kinetics model is the Michaelis-Menten model, proposed by Leonor Michaelis and Maud Menten. They postulated that the enzyme abbreviated E first combines with its substrate abbreviated S to form an enzyme substrate complex, abbreviated ES, in a relatively fast reversible step, with the 4 rate K1 and the reverse rate K-1. The enzyme substrate complex then breaks down in a slower second step to produce the free enzyme E and the reaction product P with the reaction rate of K2. The michaelis menten model relies on several assumptions. First, the binding of enzyme and substrate is assumed to be reversible. Second, the second step is assumed to be the slower rate limiting step. Third, the reaction quickly reaches steady state, in which the concentration of the enzyme substrate complex is approximately constant. The michaelis menten model deals with the initial reaction velocity V0. The product concentration is assumed to be zero. Therefore, the rate of the second reaction in reverse is not taken into account. Lastly, the concentration of total enzyme equals the sum of free enzyme and the enzyme accessory complex. Based on these assumptions, the michaelis menten model relates the initial velocity to substrate concentration with the equation V0 equals to V max times substrate concentration over the michaelis menten constant Km plus the substrate concentration. The equation can be shown in a hyperbolic curve in a graph of initial velocity against substrate concentration. The maximum velocity, abbreviated as Vmax, is the highest number of substrates that can be transformed into product over a given time when all the active sites are occupied. The michaelis menten constant, or Km, is defined as the dissociation constant of the enzyme substrate complex, which equals K-1 plus K2 over K1. The higher the Km value, the lower the affinity of enzyme to substrate. Km also represents the substrate concentration when half the active sites are occupied. The catalytic constant or Kcat equals to Vmax over the total enzyme concentration. It is also known as the turnover number and the molecular activity, which indicates the maximum number of substrates that are transformed into products by a single active site in a period. Enzyme efficiency can be calculated by dividing Kcat by Km. It is characteristic of an enzyme and it is also known as the specificity constant. An enzyme is most efficient when it has high Kcat, meaning high catalytic abilities, and low Km, meaning high enzyme substrate affinity. Near the beginning of the reaction, when substrate concentration is low, the initial velocity is in the first order, Vmax times substrate concentration over Km. Near the end of the reaction, the reaction approaches zero order, as the initial velocity approaches maximum velocity. The michaelis menten curve can be linearized by the Lineweaver-Burke plot, also known as the double reciprocal plot, which plots the inverse of initial velocity against the reverse of substrate concentration. The y-intercept represents 1 over Vmax, and the x-intercept represents negative 1 over Km, and the slope represents Km over Vmax. Enzymes are subject to both reversible and irreversible inhibition. There are three main types of reversible inhibitors. A competitive inhibitor competes with the substrate for the active site of an enzyme. The inhibitor, abbreviated I, combines with the free enzyme to form the enzyme substrate complex, or EI complex. The maximum velocity or total catalytic ability remains constant, as shown by the shear white intercept in the Lineweaver-Berg plot, while the michaelis menten constant, or the enzyme substrate affinity, decreases, as shown by the less negative x-intercept. An uncompetitive inhibitor binds the enzyme substrate complex at a site different from the active site. Both the maximum velocity and the michaelis menten constant decreases by the same factor, as shown by parallel lines of inhibited and uninhibited plots. A mixed inhibitor can bind to either the free enzyme or the enzyme substrate complex, at a site different from the active site. A non-competitive inhibitor is a special type of mixed inhibitor in which the maximum velocity decreases, while Km remains constant, as shown by the shear y-intercept. There are three main types of irreversible inhibitors as well. Affinity labels are substrate analogs that irreversibly bind to one or more amino acids at the active site to inhibit the enzyme. They can be used to identify amino acids located in the enzyme active site. Examples include iodo acetate and PHMB, or polyhexamethylene biguanide, which targets cysteine residue, DIFP, or diisopropyl fluorophosphate, which targets serine residue, and TPCK, or tosylphenoalanyl chloromethyl ketone, which targets histidine residue. 
Another type of irreversible inhibitors are transition state analogs, which resembles the transition state and binds to enzyme better than the substrate. Recall that in the induced fit model, the active site is most complementary to the transition state. Therefore, transition state analogs are the most potent enzyme inhibitors and are target for drug designs. For example, statin is a transition state analog of HMG-CoA reductase, the key step to cholesterol biosynthesis. Therefore, statin effectively treats high cholesterol. The third type of irreversible inhibitor is the mechanism-based suicide inhibitors, which are substrate analogs that bind active site and initiate catalytic process as if they were normal substrate. Somewhere down the pathway, a reactive intermediate is formed that modifies the residue on the active site covalently, hijacking the normal enzyme reaction mechanism. Suicide inhibition is another target for drug design. For example, azetylthymidine or AZT is a suicide inhibitor of reverse transcriptase designed to treat HIV. Aspirin is a suicide inhibitor of cyclooxygenase 1 and 2, which lowers eicosanoid production and treats inflammation. More examples of drug design as enzyme inhibitors will be covered in a future video.